Hey guys, today we are at Osaka Station. We are heading to Kyoto by Hankyu Line. The big holiday week, Obon is coming, so there are more people in the town. That's Yodobashi, Umeda. What a beautiful day. Since we are heading to Nishiki Market directly, we are heading to Karasuma Station. And uh, that Hankyu Osaka Umeda Station, this is the easiest way to get there. By the way, that's the Ferris wheel. There are just so many lines in Osaka Station. If you are heading to Kyoto Station, use the JR line. But if you are heading to Karasuma Station, then use the Hankyu line. From here, it takes about 40 to 50 minutes. Leaving from plot number one, we use the Limited Express. Yep, that's the place. For Kyoto Kawaramachi. Let's go. Hopefully we can find a place to sit down. Let me see. Oh, seems like not that many people. Still, we can find a seat. It's a long way to go. So happy that I could find a seat. All right, so let's go. Ooh, finally we arrived! It was a long way. Last time when I visited the Nishiki market, that was during the pandemic. I'm wondering how crowded it is. Kinda excited though, but I believe there are many new restaurants too. So let's go! Oh by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan TV. I'm Ryan Seido. Go! Alright, so let's keep walking. Let's go! From Osaka to here, it costs 410 Japanese yen. Going to Nishiki Market number 16 is the exit that you want to take. <laughs> oh my goodness, I miss this street. It's right front of the Apple Store. Nishiki Market is the left side, and if you want to check the main street, it's on your right side. Wow, so many travelers. Much more than Osaka. Well, Osaka is a big popular city, however, Kyoto is a traditional historical city. So, yeah, I totally understand. How about the Nishiki Market? Sweetie, that's the entrance of Nishiki Market. Alright, let's go to the market. Oh, that's rice clucker place. I remember I ate and it was pretty good. They have so many different kinds of rice clucker with soy sauce interesting they have a summer version ice cream with the cheese ice cream with rice cake interesting why not let's try that all right here we go very first food so the, it's cheese ice cream and the rice cracker well for me i'm not sure if it fits or not but let me try It's less sweet. I can't really feel that it's cheese. But uh, yeah, nice ice cream. How about this rice cracker? <laughs> well, Oishi. <laughs> but uh, I think we can eat it separately. Let me see. Okay, maybe if we try together, it would be better. So let's see. <laughs> well, it's kind of like sweet soy sauce matches with cream cheese. Very interesting flavor. I don't know if you like it or not, but uh, something interesting you can try. And uh, I love the challenge. Let's keep exploring. Compared to last time, there are more stores are opening, so it's more fun. Oh, look at this store. It's this seafood store. Looks pretty nice. All right, sweet. We have a place to eat inside, so let's eat over there. Look at this! Wow! <laughs> Actually, it's much bigger than what I thought. That's huge! <laughs> well, to be honest, thinking about the price 800 Japanese yen, I thought we could get the kind of small shrimp, but uh, yeah, it's pretty big. I just visited the Kuromo Ichiba market and I see the imitation from 500 Japanese yen, so I kind of expected that, you know, tiny three shrimps or even one shrimp could be 800 Japanese yen, but uh, so far, I love them. Itadakimasu! 
めっちゃ美味しい It's a big nice shrimp perfectly matches with salt and lemon Love it! Mm. Mm. Inside the store Nice fun atmosphere There are many places to eat as well Thinking about the price, that was one of the best place to eat the shrimp I really wanted to try the scallop too, but uh, <laughs> it's just there are so many places to eat so I want to find more places Let's keep walking What else we have? Oh, that's gyoza dumpling It's super crowded over here, but from tomorrow the big vacation in Japan will start it so there will be more and more people I believe <laughs> here, they sell the octopus over here. Inside the octopus, there is a quail egg. Here, they sell egg. Also, with beer, will be nice. Look at that tempura. Perfectly matches with beer, I bet. Oh my goodness, look at this store. It's super crowded. Oh, no wonder. The first cup, 100 Japanese yen. Wow. Good deal! <laughs> they enjoy the 100 yen sake. And also, there are so many big tempuras. Look at that shrimp tempura, it's huge! Oh, actually, they are using the big shrimp. Alright, why not? Let's do it! <laughs> Sweet! Can you believe that it's only 100 Japanese yen? All right, here we go. I could uh, choose either the smooth one or spicy one, and uh, I ordered the smooth one. So, very first sake. <laughs> oh, oh, she. Actually, it's very light taste, a little bit fruity, and really smooth as well. Super easy to drink. Love this. <laughs> Especially the price. Yep. I'm here and only ordering sake, 100 Japanese yen, and then going for the next street food. <laughs> really entertaining. Psycho. <laughs> Inside the store, there are many people having fun. Nice place. Aizamas. Sweet. So let's keep exploring. Ooh, that was pretty good. The best part, there are many places to eat inside the store, so it's very easy to eat. That's the best point, yeah, for me, because always we have to find a place to eat outside, then that would be tough. So yeah, definitely much better. What else we have? Here, it's the seafood. And uh, those are the fish cakes. Really traditional Japan style. And here, it's unagi. It's much more fun because many stores are open. Yep, totally different compared to the last time when I visit during the pandemic. Oh, really nice smell, the sour smell. Those are the traditional pickled veggies. Skemono. Oh, here it sells the tatami slippers. 1,500 Japanese yen. It's the traditional style. Perfectly matches with yukata. Oh, look at the pigeon. The rare color. This street, different atmosphere. Feels like more, you know, old style. Not so many restaurants but uh, many traditional stores. Here, they have so many craft beer. And also sushi. Oh, interesting. Umi no obanzai. There are many seafoods and the beer. The set menu price is 1,450 Japanese yen. Let me see if there is a place to eat. Let's try here. So in the set menu, we can choose from either wine. There are just so many options, so I ordered this one over here. The fruity IPA. Sounds good. Oh sweet, there is a place to eat. And the second floor looks like tatami. 
here you can come in with your shoes on so let's sit down over here since i have an allergy on the white fish i asked them to change it something different there i'm not sure what's coming but uh i'm excited this room reminds me my uh, grandpa's place especially that one over there it's a traditional japan's room my grandpa's house was like that uh, yep there is uh, some art on top by the tree i don't remember what kind of picture it was but uh, there was something i think some scenery or some tiger or something all right here we go sweet <laughs> Perfect snack time with beer. So I ordered the craft beer, the Tango IPA. There are just so many choices, so I can't really decide it. Hopefully, it's good. Anyways, so come party. Psycho. It is a little bit bitter, however very nice fluty flavor i love it i always love ipa beer anyways so here this is what i got the first it's a deep fried shrimp with jalapeno this must be pretty good with beer <sighs> it is crispy perfectly matches with beer <laughs> <laughs> Perfect snack. Mm. And I'm wondering if this is a shishito pepper or jalapeno. If shishito pepper, I can eat it, but if it's jalapeno, I can't eat it. It must be spicy. Let me see. Oh, it's delicious. It is a shishito pepper. It's not that spicy. Really nice barbecue flavor. Mm. Loving it. And the next one is the eggplant, I believe. There is a ginger on top and a nut cabbage. I'm not sure what it is. Oh. Mm. Really nice dash flavor comes with the ginger and then also I believe that was a shiso leaf. Nice shiso leaves smell perfectly matches with dashi. Loving it. Yaba. And the last one is the dry fish. I'm not sure what kind of fish it is, but uh <laughs> whatever it is. Oh. It is crispy and sweet. I remember my mom used to cook this. I'm not sure if she cooks or she bought it from somewhere else, but uh, yeah. When I was a kid, I used to eat with white rice and uh, a very familiar taste. That's why before I ate it, I could expect the taste and I know that's good. Hmm. Well, before I came over here, I was thinking to drink maybe matcha or some matcha drink or something. I didn't expect that I would drink alcohol, but already this is my uh, second alcohol. Hopefully I'm not get drunk. <laughs> but uh, I'm happy, so it's okay. Psycho. By the way, in the first floor, there is a place to eat as well. Really clean and a nice atmosphere. Looks like Kyoto. All right, so let's keep exploring. Well, as you can realize, I'm already a happy guy, so... <laughs> Hopefully next, we can find some dessert. <laughs> You know what, I just realized that I'm walking back a different way and uh, after walk a while I realized that, uh, oh my goodness, I'm familiar with this place, yeah, because I was going back the way, yeah, maybe uh, <laughs> already having a good amount of alcohol, so that's okay, let's keep exploring. Hopefully, I can get the dessert next. Sweet! Always great meeting with you guys! Ready? Sin! Yeah. <laughs> Loving it! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
loving it. If you see me on the street, don't forget to call it to me so that I can realize who you are. All right, so let's keep walking. Let's go. And here, this is a place that I ate already. Those fish called tsukudani, you can eat it with white rice. And also here, actually you can try. Oh, here, they sell the scallop. Huh, looking pretty good. This place too, inside. There are many tables over here. All right, sweet, we got a nice table. Actually, I wanted to order the uni sea urchin with scallop. However, I know that by the price, which was 1,100 Japanese yen, would it be a good uni. So I ordered the ikura with scallop. That would be good. All right, here we go. The scallop with ikura. The price was 1,100 Japanese yen. Oh my goodness, look at that! It must be good! Itadakimasu! Mmm! It's so delicious! Very nice soy sauce flavor with scallop. And also... <laughs> to be honest, I can't really feel the ikura much. However, there are many ikura, so now I can feel that. Mm. <laughs> Loving it, let's keep exploring. Ooh, that was pretty good. Well, I was planning to eat dessert, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. The next one, go for the dessert. Now it's almost 5 p.m. Dinner time will start, so probably this place will be more crowded. Oh, we are already at Nishiki Tenmangu Shrine. It's kind of the dead end of this street. Haven't visited the Nishiki Tenmangu for a while, neither. This place also, from tomorrow, will be super crowded. It's a beautiful place. There is a place to wash the hands. And many people's wishes. I see so many wishes by English. Yeah, looks like Kyoto. It's very interesting street. So, you know, all the arcade we have to go through, just going straight and you will get to this shrine. Ideally, I want to eat some nice shaped ice cream, but uh, can I find it? I'm wondering. Oh, interesting. One yuan kimono. One gram for one yen. So one kimono is 5,000 Japanese yen. That's a good deal, huh? Well, kimono could be really expensive. I remember one of the kimonos that my grandma had, but uh, they use it so many times for the you know marriage. So that uh, I think the old people used to have one, but nowadays they usually rent. And uh, yeah, that could be cheaper. However, if you attend so many ceremonies, probably if you buy one, could be cheaper because you know, lentil kimono could be really expensive too, just for a day. It's like a suit for a man. Yep. For me, that sounds crazy. Oh, seems like this street, less people. What do we have over here? Let's explore. Interesting. It's the very old clock store. Oh my goodness. I don't remember when was the last time I found a clock store like this. Oh, and this one, the music instrument place. They have ocarina. I'm not sure how to call it in English. And also the trumpet as well. Very nice traditional place. And what else we have? Ah, wow, kind of scary street. Oh, we come back over here. It's the main street that we had the Gion Festival. This is the bus stop in Kyoto. It's nice that they have a water mist. So that it feels much cooler. 
Can I find dessert? Let's go back to the arcade. Oh, this tiny shrine. The sound of hooing. You can feel that, that typhoon is coming. The Kirin city have the puppet. But uh, I don't think I can finish it. Those are just too big. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. The Japan style cell phone cases. Nice. Oh, there is Gachapon place. Let's explore inside. What do we have? Ah, the One Piece one. The Luffy just turned into Gear 5 now on the anime. It's awesome. What else we have? Oh my goodness, look at this Gachapon. So natsukashi. It's a grassy rabbit. It's really popular child book. When I was a kid, my mom always read it for me. It's my first time to see that. Very interesting. It's the kind of like music box for the Matsuri Bon Odori dance. <laughs> 500 Japanese yen? A bit expensive. It is really interesting though. <laughs> there is a secret gachapon, 1000 Japanese yen. Yeah. I think it's too expensive for a secret. <laughs> I guess. It says Yuho Kacha. Meaning crow machine place, but uh, they only have gachapon and uh, oh, look at that! We got the <laughs> shooting place in Kyoto too. <laughs> Recently, shooting place everywhere, <laughs> like gachapon. Oh my goodness! Can you see the crab mascot in front of you? It looks like Senichimae Street. We are in Kyoto, right? I'm just curious what we have at the end of the street. Do we have food street too over here? Oh, the street continues like this. Totally different compared to Dotonbori. Hey, have you guys looked at this Kanidorak mascot closely? It's kind of uh, scary, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Giant club. It's my first time to visit this arcade, Teramachi Shotengai. Wondering what we have. Compared to Nishiki Market, it is really quiet and not so many people. Oh, look at this. This place looks like so Kyoto. <laughs> I'm wondering, can I enter it? I'm not sure. So maybe I can watch it from here. There are so many temples in Kyoto. Nice atmosphere. Sorry guys, it's pretty random. But I found a nice street. I love this street, this atmosphere, so... Just wanted to share. Especially those kind of like old house with those trees. This quiet street, I enjoyed it more. It's different, but for me, it's like, you know, hidden street, like Hozenji Yokochao. Loving it. Anyway, let's explore dessert. Yes, still we haven't found one yet. Hopefully, we can find it. <laughs> something of it. Oh, now Cafe de Clear seems like they have the coffee jelly with the mint. This looks good. <laughs> Since we can't find it, that's okay. Let's eat it over here. Inside, really cool. <laughs> I've been walking a while and <laughs> I was pretty thirsty too. Finally, I can have the dessert. The mint ice cream is one of my favorite. Itadakimasu. <laughs> Mm. When I was a kid, I didn't like the mint ice cream much, but after I get older, I love the mint ice cream. Mm. So it's coffee too. You know, I love the mint ice cream, however, I don't like the real mint leaves. Does it make sense? Yeah, I just can't eat the mint leaf because it's too strong taste. 
So is the cilantro too. Well, if you have the same taste, please let me know in the comment. Yeah, for me, I feel weird because you know the same meat taste, but because it tastes stronger or weaker, I can't eat it or not. But anyway, I love the meat ice cream, no? Speaking of the weather in Japan, recently there are many typhoons coming, so just you know, so many rainy days and the suddenly super strong wind. So it's really tough to make a travel itinerary. Yeah, there are just too many typhoons in Japan. So if you are planning to travel to Japan during this season, you gotta always watch out to the typhoon. Hmm. Well, speaking of the typhoon, when I was a kid, I was pretty happy, you know, when I heard the typhoon is coming because, you know, the typhoon day always the school closed. <laughs> that means I can stay home and play the game. Yeah. But, you know, when I get an hour, definitely, I learned there are so many people sacrificed by the typhoon. So, yeah, I feel so bad for them when I hear that the typhoon is coming. So hopefully, everyone is safe. I really hope so. Ooh, that was pretty good. All right, so let's go. The dinner time will start, so probably will be more and more people. However, there are many stores closing too. So if you are visiting over here, better visiting during the daytime. Now we came back to the end of the street. Just turn left and keep straight. Oh, there is a funny exchange vending machine over here. If you need to change the money, there are many places that you can change the money exchange like this in the big city. So if you are visiting big city, you don't have to worry much because you know there are money exchanges like that and also discounted ticket store, they can always change the money too. But uh, if you are going to the countryside, <laughs> definitely, uh, you need to change the money at the airport. The one thing you have to be careful is that uh, those kind of like vending machines, it's like an airport. They don't have a good way, so you gotta be ready for that too. <laughs> oh, look at that puppy. Looking pretty good. Well, this could be the one too, huh? That's okay, never mind. We will find the Apple store on your left. There is the entrance, yep. It doesn't look like entrance, but there is a sign. And just follow the direction. Basically over here, there are two different kind of station close each other. If you are heading back to Osaka, right on the Hankyu Railway, where we are going right now. And if you are going back to the Kyoto station, take the train, the subway Karasuma line, which is the Shijo station. Today, we are heading back to Osaka station. So we will use the Hankyu line. You can take the train from number two, but make sure to take the express train, not the semi-express one, because it will take a long time. So, this is not the one. Yep, yeah, not the green one, the red one. So the next one. That's the one. When we go back, it takes 46 minutes to Osaka station. Seems like train will be super packed. Well, I don't think we can find a seat. Let's find a place to stand up. Finally, we arrived to Osaka Umeda Station. It was a long way. Eventually, I had to stand up at the Osaka Station about 50 minutes. But uh, usually it happens in Japan. So if you are visiting Japan with small kids, uh, you got to think about what time you will ride on the train. If you ride on the train rush hour time, probably you will encounter this kind of situation too. So you got to be careful. This is Japan travel team. Anyway, let's keep walking. Let's go back to the main area of Osaka Station. The way to go back to, it costs 410 Japanese yen, which is not that bad. We are in front of Hanky Grand Building. Because of the rush hour time, more people over here. 
It's Snoopy decor. Nice. The rush hour time, Osaka Station. I love the atmosphere of nighttime Osaka Station. Beautiful. Sweet. Finally, we are back to this clear. Alright, sweet. Hopefully, you guys can hear me well here. Speaking of the Nishiki Market, I think it's much better compared to Chrome Ichiba Market. Maybe I shouldn't compare. But, you know, I just like Nishiki Market better. Because Nishiki Market is restricted that you can't do the walk and eat. So that many restaurants, there is a place to eat inside the restaurants. There is an AC and a place to sit down. Yes, it's much better. And also, more like, you know, entertaining for the travelers. There is a tourist trap restaurant, but uh, there is a good and a cheap place as well. Yeah, so definitely you have better choice. Oh, and also I see the comment that, you know, some people are confused about walk and eat. Speaking of the walk and eat manner, some arcade is restricted so that you can't do it. Like completely, you can't do it. But the most of the places, you know, especially if it's not crowded, you know, basically it's okay. No one cares. Even you walk and eat the ice cream or uh, some, you know, snack from the company. So don't worry too much about it. In the next video, I'm planning to going back to Tokyo and explore the, you know, Kanto region, which is the east part of Japan. So if you haven't, don't be shy. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification button to join the adventure. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button as well. It really encourages me to keep shooting videos. Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Hope you enjoyed virtual travel to Japan through this video. So see you in the next video. See you again. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye. Today seems like not that crowded in Osaka Station. However, from tomorrow, the Japan's one of the biggest holiday, Obon, will start. So this place will be super packed. Well, when I used to work in Tokyo as a salary man, this Obon season, I come back to Osaka too. So yeah, the big holiday is coming. So this place will be super crowded. If you are thinking of driving to Japan during the Obon season, <laughs> be careful. Well, the Obon's atmosphere, I will show you guys in the video too. So please look forward to it. So see you in the next video. Arigatou. <laughs>